Okay, Shannon, thanks. Hey, how's it going? Lovely to meet you, Lovely Shannon. Meet you, and um, I'm glad to be here, and you're very brave. Yeah. <laughs> the life will never be the same. Right. <laughs> so, Shannon, um, I just want to explain what we're going to do first. Lovely to enjoy it, number one. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to ask you what your goals, dreams, desires, outcomes are in the right. next 12 months. If you were king of the castle, what would you like? And then we're going to go through, hoping that you'll be, you'll look at all areas of your life, and then I'm going to go through kind of areas that might block you or stop you from living your best life. Is that okay? Yeah. You're super. Um, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so tell me what would be the magic wand and you were just so happy in 12 months time what would be a dream 12 months to do? a dream for me would to be uh own a house i want to i moved here to own a house um and yeah in 12 months that's kind of my goal from now own a, house. own a house good um Love that. i've what always is? wanted to own my own business, own own business. Yeah. i don't enjoy working for other people um it's just sort of like a, a dream for me. I don't know exactly what the business is, but, but eventually it will be. Hopefully, I'll try and find out, work out what that might be. Yeah, right. Anything else? Um, a personal goal for me is to gain another 10 pounds of yeah. muscle. Yeah. Another 10 pounds of muscle. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know. Good on you. That's a personal, personal no, no, goal for that's sure. That's okay, yeah. So 10 pounds of muscle, okay. Um, and. Uh, Anything else? This is all good. I think those are like the three main ones. Three I main think the next one. Okay, up. super. Um, okay, so let's go back to well, what we'll do then. Is, so we're going to write down, so we can write goals in a simpler way. We can say, I want, or I will, or I can. Or we can say, asking in the question. So the question excites the, your emotions. So, we can, so we're going to write every. I'm going to keep this super simple. One question per page. Right. And in every page, it's going to be, why is it I love? When you love something, there's two forces in the world, love and a lack of love. And you put in why is that I love, it gives you energy, it gives you excitement. So the reason we're going to write it that way is just simply like, why is it I love? So like, uh, like just wait, don't just start off, big bold, write W-H-Y, why is it I love? Just like that, so you just write, why is it I love? And then we put in, own my own house. That's all we're going to have on the first page. Because I want this to be super simple. Love to open these pages and train your mind because you can have all the goals, dreams you want. But if you don't put in the work to get the outcome, but the outcome to get what you want, you have to follow the process. And this is the process writing down what you want and uh, uh, reading it daily. Uh, look at your goals all the time. So we're ready for the first page. Why is it I love? So big goal right That's all we're going to have on this page. Why is it I love? Why is it I love? get specific um, Shannon so what type of house where will it be tell me a little bit of detail as well because the more specific you are the more uh, your subconscious will reach in and get it for you right yeah um, you know in this area for sure it's close to the beach I've always so, the beach. So in Florida by the beach right yeah. write that down in Florida by the beach by the beach yeah what else um, uh, probably like three bedroom, you know, um, yeah, three specifically bedroom. three bedroom. Yeah, yeah. What else? We're doing great. Um, backyard. Backyard. Well done. Big kitchen. I cook a lot. Kitchen. Um. Being specific, no carpet. No carpet. <laughs> Hardwood <laughs> floors. Hardwood floors. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Floors. Well done. Um. What else? The dream. Can you picture it like to color front door? Would you like? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to say, a well, big driveway for sure. Bigger driveway. Big driveway. Yeah. Well done. Um. Um, let's see. It's 
sort of a colored house, white, maybe white color. White? Yeah, let's we'll go with white. Good. So we can go with white. Yeah. And, um, big crawl spray. Big crawl space. It's easier for anything. Cross. Anything, yeah, crawl space under the house. So where the plumbing is and all plumbing, that. Yeah. Makes it easier for that. Plumbing all over, yeah. Have you a budget? Yeah, um, probably um, under 320,000. Okay, write that down under 320. Okay, well done. Um, so, can I share a little bit? Yeah, so the more you get excited about this, the reason you're writing it down, right. so you look at this and you need to get think about it, you get excited. Quicker is going to come to you, right? But, um, and then um, you keep getting that exci excited and emotion right. uh, stirred up inside. Mm -hmm. That's why you write it down. Now, if there's anything else you want to add to that, um, we, we can add to it any time. Yeah, yeah and right inside the back page as well. Right. Super. We'll turn to the next page. Yeah, that's great. So tell me, um, what, so why is it I love having my own business? Write that down. Yeah, I'm all right. Why is it I love having my own? Do you want it to be successful? Absolutely. Why is it I love having my own successful business? Why is it I love having my own successful business? Um, so have you that written down first? We write it down. Why is it I love the all right? Because it's the goal. And when you write pen to paper, you connect with all the senses. You do it on computer or pen to paper. You connect. You can see it, hear it, feel it, taste it, touch it. Why is it I love my own business? My own successful business. Successful business. Successful, <laughs> yeah, because if I have a business, it might be a success. I want them being yeah, that's to, true. to be successful. Super. Is that okay? That's good with me. So let's talk about you're not what what's what's your passion? What do you love doing? Like you, I mean, you're obviously talking about working out in the gym, like do you want to I love yeah, that that would be the the big goal in the future is to own my own gym. Uh, my own clothing, gym clothing. Okay, like okay, I have my own gym and gym clothing. Gym and gym clothing. Of course, it's GYM, not JIM. Yeah. Gym clothing. Uh, my own gym clothing. Um, so let's, let's for a second then. Um, so can you begin knowing that uh, you can already start talking about your workout? Because you're obviously passionate because you want to lose 10 pounds. Right. So you maybe you build this from really good videos, really good... Um, interviews we know the people are working out people right. are start to work in the gym the people who are thinking about working in the gym right they're thinking about doing a couch to 5k and you, you, would that help yeah absolutely and you build that and build that and become an expert in starting to exercise you know on all the different levels right does that make sense absolutely yeah. so let's say are you happy to write that down yeah and um, starting from making um, as many videos as i as i can started and on that journey so yeah. the more people you can interview from people that haven't interviewed you know have been only thinking about it want to do it and having the courage or whatever then to the people who are at like want to put on 10 pounds like you right so does that make sense yeah. i'm just coming up with ideas and right. brainstorming here absolutely yeah. super so we turn the page and we'll come back to this in a bit yeah um, so why is it so when you have so the next goal was uh, why is it love having 10 pounds muscle write that down so what weight will you be then so that you have to imagine how you already have it so why is it I love being already having already my um, extra 10 pounds of muscle built does that make sense yeah uh, already 10 pounds muscle built Okay, 
Okay. Let's go. So the reason, um, Shannon, we write it down in the, as if we have it in the now, is we say I want, I want, I want. It's like it's out there. You have to feel you have it already. You have to feel you have that muscle on. You have to feel you have your own business. You have to imagine when you sleep at night, you're in your own home. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's more, the subconscious mind doesn't know what reality is. Reality is. It only knows what your feelings are. Right. So it's a feeling universe. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you have to really, really feel it. So let's work out. Um, but we have all these goals and dreams, but inside we have an internal negative dialogue going on. And I'm going to try and tap into that and change it to uh, a positive dialogue. Is right. that okay? That's good. So what negative thoughts? What are your fears? What might hold you back? What are your limiting beliefs? Um, from gaining my 10 pounds? Yeah. yeah. Gain your 10 pounds from having your home, from your yeah. own business. Um, it's, yeah, the gain the 10 pounds, um, it's more so like... Um, I feel that like work holds me back. It's like I feel like I can't eat enough. Um, that's a big thing. Okay, so let's write this down. Why is it I love knowing that I have all the time in the world to eat more than enough? Why is it I love knowing that I have all the time in the world to eat more than enough? So that, that's changing that mindset. Yeah, eat more than enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Eat more than enough. So you have to change that belief that you, you cannot make that time. You can make it work yeah okay so but what else that's great I will do the next page because we want to keep this and turn the next page I want to work out each one of the solutions page by page so we'll, we'll dissolve all those limiting beliefs what else might hold you back Shannon um gaining from a pounds. gaining 10 pounds um more time in the gym more time spent in the gym um I need okay, I'll write that down. Why is it I love disciplining my life so that I can have more time in the gym? Disciplining my life so that I can have more time in the gym. Disciplining my life so that I can have more time in the gym. And what, how many, much time are you at? Do you have at the moment, uh, Shannon, how much time do you want? Um, about an hour and 30 minutes a day. That's what you want. That's what I want. And what do you have at uh, a little less than that, maybe an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So just a little bit more would be perfect. Okay, so we'll write that down. Having an hour and how many minutes in the gym? Hour and 30 minutes. An hour and 30. So uh, discipline myself, get an hour and 30. We'll put down plus so you can even spend more. You go to bed early, get up early. There's no reason why you can't have two hours in the gym if you focus on it. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Super. Great, well done. Um, so what else might hold you back to put on the... Um, I guess um, I need to learn more. Maybe maybe ask more questions from people that are more experienced than me. Yeah. I feel that I, I know quite a bit, but you can always know more. So, okay, so. So the next page. So why is it I love asking people who, who have the ideal weight, the ideal muscle, how they did it? So you have to ask the people, get specific, ask the people who you look up to, how did you get to this, you know, having all this weight muscles. So why is it I love asking the right people the right questions to get the right answers? Asking the right people the right questions to get the right answers uh, of how they've done it. So no need to reinvent the wheel like it's done already. Right. Um, that okay? Let's get them. Brilliant. Okay, what else might hold you back from um, any other thing? Limiting beliefs, anything else in your mind that tells you that I can't do this, I can't get that weight. Um, I, sometimes I feel maybe my genetics aren't good enough. Okay, so do you know what BS is? Yeah. BS, what's that? No, I don't know, sorry. Yeah. BS. So, some people say it's bullshit, but right. I would say it's a bad story. Right. So that's a bad story, so you want right. to get rid of that bad story, that right. old program. So why is it I love letting go? My bad, that's my bad story of having uh, bad genetics, you know, having right. the genetics and change into the new story that I can do this and right. I will do this. You write that down. Write that down. Letting go, yeah, my wife said I love knowing, letting go, my bad story that I uh, on re genetics, knowing that I have my new story is I can do this, everything is possible. I can do this and everything is possible. Does that make sense? Make sense. Um, 
um, kind of like, um, rem or like learning that, um, or having somebody kind of confirm that I need to do these things, such as, you know, talk to people about, um, you know, fitness and learning more. And that one right there, you know, the bad genetics, um, that's all in my head. You know, well, your head it's, not, yeah. it's not true. Um, yeah. You have to let go that talk. Right. Exactly. Let go and replace that I can do this everything as possible. Yeah. Who's, we go to the next page, who's your role model in, in who do you look up to as, like, has a really good body that, you know, that could be, you know, a household name, is there anyone like yeah. that? Yeah, Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester. my Why, biggest well, There you go. Why is there a love? Uh, having the body of it's the body of Sylvester yeah. you want having look at the excitement in your face the body of Sylvester Stallone now most of these um, heroes like that they would have they'll be interviews they'll have you know they will be asked and if you go study them you could find out something by even watching these right. uh, going into any talks that he gives because I'm sure people have asked him that question right you know so um, uh, yeah so following on how he did it it's been him as a role model so you have to see yourself as the best as alone right look and, and imagine that picture so another great way is a vision board to have a vision get a picture of him mm -hmm. and uh, put him up in somewhere where you can see it every day whether right. it's on the mirror or in the patch room or in the wardrobe or wherever right. you want in the open ward you see it because that will motivate you to say that's my that's where I'm going because that's I guarantee right. he's he had somebody he looked up to right does that make sense yeah it makes sense super okay so uh, have you that down why is it I love yeah yeah I love why is I it I love them, so. yeah no because the love is a passion yeah super we go to the next page just to keep it simple yeah. we all get all the solutions out um, so tell me um, were you happy with all that you feel if you do all that you fast track yourself to the an extra pound absolutely yeah. Yeah. super so let's go a bit back then on the um, your house so um, what um, what do you have to do financially to make money are you in are you focused on what you need to get together yeah um, you know I do probably need um, I guess more in my savings it's okay so big thing for me. Well, how much so if you want a house this year, how much have you broken down? What what you need to save? Yeah, um, we're probably you know talking eight thousand uh, dollars for how long? Throughout like the next? Are we talking within the next twelve months? Like let's yeah. say twelve months from now, I want to buy my house. Yeah, I'd you, say eight thousand. You get eight thousand. Yeah, okay. 8, 000. And that's what it takes to be able yeah. to buy um, a house yeah. for that money. Okay. So and have you that saved together yet? No. I have probably. Um, Maybe half of that, I'd say. Okay, so we'll write this down on the next page. Yeah, this page. Why is it I love uh, earning 8,000 plus at my ease? It motivates me to buy my dream house. Why is it I love uh, earning 8,000 plus? So you're open to opening, making more. And the more you make, the, you know, your dream is to own your home. Is that right? Yep. Um, so to, to own it like and have it owned outright is uh, probably the ultimate. Way, isn't it? Yeah, way more. Yeah. So way op yeah, we're open to. So when you focus on abundance, and, you know, finance, the more you think about it, and the more you say, "God, I love it," and um, you have good energy around, the more it comes to you. So how's your feeling around money? Do you have? Do you ever feel a lack around money, or what, what's your background in money? Because we often we all have a history on finance, right? And beers, and um, we do. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I've never had a problem um, saving money. I spent a lot of money moving here, so I lost a little bit of money. Um, I think at the end of the day, we all wish we made a little bit more money, or at least most of us. Um, so, do you have regrets? Your guilt? I don't really have regrets. Um, I don't know, there's like questions of like, um, you know, I never went to college. So, you know, like the question that goes into my head is what if I went to college? Um, but it's not a regret. regret does, does that often go through your mind? Oh my God, I wish I went to college. Every now and then. Okay, we're going to work on that. So we'll write this down, the question again. Why is it I love uh, letting go? It's obviously a guilt, is it? That you're, uh, letting, yeah, I guess yeah. We, can, we can definitely say yeah, that. So we'll write this down. Why is it I love, again, WHY, why is it I love letting go the guilt of not having gone to college? 
go the guilt of not having gone to college because guilt is the worst emotion we can hold letting go the guilt of not having gone to college and knowing that I am already a massive success without it letting go the guilt of not having gone to college and knowing I'm already a massive success without it doing what I love loving what I do Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, does that help? Yeah. But how does it, how does it feel when you write that down? Um, you know, I guess, I'm trying to think. Um, you know, it's not like something that always bothers me, but, um, I don't know. It's just like I never really found like a, a, a career that I, um, you know, felt that I need to go to college. That's it's good writing it down because, you know, um, I don't have anything that I'm, I'm passionate about that I need to go to college, so it's just something that it, there's no reason to hold on to that guilt because, yes. um, you know, I would say at least 50% of me knows, hey, that, that wasn't the right decision. You shouldn't have done that. Okay. But it should be 100%. Yeah, well, it's going to be. And when you read this every day, right. you, re- you build that new program in your mind and let go of that old Right. Yeah, it's a bad story. It's a good story. Is that, and I know your passion. I know what your business is going right. to be. You know that. Right. And it's going to be all about your building muscle, right. building Sylvester Stallone's body. Right. Because when you do that, you're doing what you love. It's huge. You light up and you think of Sylvester Stallone. You know, right. Set up in the seat. Yeah. So this is your business. You're going to become. You're going to have whatever. When you want chains of, of gyms, you're going to become the master of creating a body like Sylvester right. Stallone because so many people that will come. Or might somebody just want to get into the gym. Like you're passionate to help people uh, get into shape, whatever level of that shape is. Right. You're going to be a massive success, but you have to do that with purpose, and you, you really do care about it. It means so much to you. So that's your obvious business. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, it does. Super. It does. Next page. <laughs> does that excite me? Yeah. No, for sure. Okay. So let's talk about the business. Um, so how can you grow the business? How can you start? Because every you know entrepreneur starts from scratch. Like, right. have you already a platform out there? Yeah. Um, you know, I think growing our, um, you know, my or mine and George's YouTube page, um, getting people um, watching us. TikTok is the new thing. Uh, I do TikTok. Okay. Uh, George isn't really involved in that, I am. But um, growing those and getting my name out there would always help. For okay, sure. Will, are, you're absolutely certain it's going to create, you want to be one of the best in the world, what you do, do you? Yeah, I would love that, yeah. Okay, so absolutely. let's write it down. So why is it I love to become a master of inspiring people to go to the gym get in the best shape of their lives becoming the master at going and helping people go to the gym and get in the best shapes of their lives So let's write down on the same page. Why is it I become the master of marketing, getting myself out there? Become the master of marketing, getting myself out there in all the mediums. Master of marketing, marketing. doing a complete passion to help people. Complete passion to help people. that make sense yeah so when you do something with passion and like when you do something to help people it's it's easy it's not yeah. work you don't work you play right. so every day you have to hone in and if you're doing TikTok you be the best you know and you have to express yourself you have to be vulnerable say look I'm working on myself bear your own soul say look and every day I have my routines this is my discipline this is what I eat this is what I drink so I think do you think you should hone in even more on uh, your business and uh, and hone in like getting your body in the best shape of your lives right something specific where people say uh, helping you to get, in, get into, the, into your best shape that you want to go because everyone has different levels so, you know not everyone's have all the muscle in the world so right. people just want to be generically fit or flexible and healthier 
So I'd say you want to help people to be, you know, happier and healthier and fitter. You right. know, maybe three things. Those three things help people to be happier, healthier, and fitter. And when we exercise, we're naturally happy. We're happy. Like I share your passion too. I want the world to exercise. Right. I believe everyone ran, for example, if they, you know, their bodies were strong enough to run, right. even on a treadmill or an exercise on a bike or out in this beautiful park. Right. But their energy is up. The heart rate is up, and they have energy then to follow through but it takes discipline but if you if, you know that so many to break it down to so many areas with different people at different ages and you keep putting that out there and want this to be huge so how many followers do you need to make money online tiktok probably over a million followers so next, next page so why is it you want over a million followers why is, it, why is it I love having over a million followers delivering my passion daily? So you have to be consistent with your marketing, yeah, with your, with your passion. But five days a week, I'm a big fan of, like, you do work out seven days a week, your body needs a break, you know, your muscles need a break. So I'm a big fan, of, you know, Monday to Friday, then relax Saturday, Sunday, you can still do it, you know, but, but you know, seven days a week burnout, I'm not into 20, you know, 60 days, I believe, five days a week, Come whatever days you want off, you burst and get back into the routine again. So it's the same with marketing, you know, all the time. And then two days off where you can and then go and let people know these are my days. And then does that make sense? Yeah. Super. So you want to be over a million. How much money when you when you get put over a million? You start making a couple thousand. Uh, a month. Yeah, a month. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. How, how exciting would that be? It'd be exciting. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's what you're... And you have to believe that you can... Do you believe that that's possible? I believe it's possible, yeah. Uh, to believe you're more... You're more uh, so, sorry, I'm going to jump into a few questions. Um, what else holds you back? What else will hold you back from being a successful entrepreneur? Um, I, I feel time. You know, I feel like I'm always on a time crunch. Um, okay, next page. Yeah. Why is it a love letting go of my time crunch believing that I have all the time in the world when I'm or, when I'm organized? Why is it a love letting go of my time crunch uh, limiting belief knowing I have all the time in the world? Time crunch limiting belief knowing I have all the time in the world when I'm organized. All the time in the world when I'm organized. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you organized, of course? Um, parts of my life, yes. Um, so I'm going to share a technique that I do. I write down an A to Z every night, and I try. And I don't have to fill in every letter for it, but under you, I write down. I'm normally up Monday to Friday, up at five, so I write down because the last thing at night, first thing in the morning, what we tell ourselves we get. And I put down what I'm going to meet, who I'm meeting, who I'm calling, and. Uh, say on the R or I run on the B exercise and you know uh, C coach 100 out of 10 you know all my friends you know I'm very specific but I, I know when I have that done the night before when I sleep on it then everything happens naturally but most people don't plan and without a plan you know you can't you have to plan daily your yeah. daily routines you do that yeah um, more so in my um it's fitness life. Every single day, I get up at the same time, go to the gym. Wow. Um, obviously, time, I want to make more time. time. What time uh, is that? I wake up at about six thirty. I want to say six thirty. So I'm asking you, if you got up at five thirty, you got up at five, at five o'clock. How much extra would you get into your day? I would get an extra half hour. So I would get, uh, you know, another probably another forty five minutes of yeah. being able to and work out. You got out. up at five o'clock. Gradually, you got up at five o'clock. Right. Imagine how much you get in, you get money right. videos you'd make and little right. things and more planning and making a list than I before and so on. Would that be cool? Yeah, absolutely. So what time would you like to get up at earlier? Like it's up to you now. I'm only asking the question, but I'm trying to make you more time because right. it comes up and it's come up a few times. Yeah. Uh, five thirty, you okay. know, so why is an it extra hour? Yeah, very good. We'll write that down. Why is it I love getting up at my new uh, uh, uptown up time is five thirty. Excuse me making even more time to create my goals and dreams. That's why you're doing it. Yeah. Um, super, what else might hold you back? What other fears? Um, I guess we talked about finances a little bit. You know, you could always use extra money. Um, yeah. So now we know the target. You know, you know how much money you want to make, so keep thinking about 
with that plus you can think about 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 when you get these videos and you start believing you're going to be you know, one of the best in the world on TikTok for example and you're, you're getting thousands and uh, thousands a month you keep building that with passion you know, with energy and start making a plan what am I going to talk about today you know, what can I make a plan for the TikTok and how often do you do TikTok? Uh, a couple times a week so what would it be if you instead of from a couple you do it five days a week? Does that make sense? Yeah. You write that down why is it I love doing TikTok five days or more. If you feel like doing seven of them, release them all or ten of them. Like is it the more the better you do? Yeah. So why is it I love making money which you think you're capable of doing in a week? Five is definitely doable. Okay. Yeah, why is it I love doing yeah, five could... amazing TikTok passionate uh, videos a week. So you have to express your passion. Sense. Yeah. Okay. What did we learn now in the last little bit? Um, I need to <laughs> wake up a little bit earlier. Make more, that will help me make more time. Yeah. Um, and I guess you know, start creating more. You know, I'm not creating enough right now because yeah. I could create more. Create more. Right. This time, why is it love being a creative genius? Uh, on help people get into shape. Whatever shape that might be. Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that help? Yeah. Great. So tell me, um, any other worries or fears? Do you worry what people think? I used to, but um, is that I think I've gone. I think I've gotten rid of it. Yeah. Got, got rid of that. Yeah. Still not. There's none of that there. You don't care what anyone thinks or say about you. I don't think so. No. That's credit to because most people do. Right. Are you a perfectionist? Uh, I am. Um, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. Um, does that bother, does my, it bother yeah, you? Own. Does it hold you back or is it do you think they're right to be hard yourself? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I would get you know frustrated Straight, if, okay. I'm, if I'm not. No, I have to tell you, perfectionism in one way, it's great that you want the best, but it's, it's, it's the lowest standard. Right. So you do your best, which is better, someone uh, coming into the gym, say, for example, cleaning the gym, and they see a mark on one of the machines, right. the perfectionist sees that, and he or she is upset, or, and then the person doing their best comes in, they see the mark, they accept okay there's nothing I can do about that and clean away which of the two people are happy when they come out from the gym the perfectionist who gets frustrated with the mark or the person going in acknowledging things aren't perfect but doing their best which of the two people? I would say that the second person the second person so you have to let go of that because that brings frustration in everything you do if you're a little bit late or a bit tight in time everything you tighten up right. and you lose the flow yeah so we write this down the next right. uh, page why is it I love letting go perfectionism Knowing my best is more than good enough. Go perfectionism, knowing my best is more than good enough. Go perfectionism, knowing my best is more than good enough. More than good enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Super. I'm done, you're doing great. Are you enjoying it? I am. Learning. Learning. Great student. Yeah. Student of the universe. <laughs> Best college in the, life of right. the world. Right. University of the universe. Uh -huh. So, uh, Shannon, um, another question. Um, are you a procrastinator? Do you put things off? Um, yeah, it depends on what it is. You know, if, if it's um, if it's me, um, I guess I procrastinate like learning more information. Thoughts, but we're going to deal with that now. Why is it a love letting go procrastination? Why is it a love letting go procrastination? Why is it a love letting go procrastination? <laughs> just do it, do it, do it. Now, a lot of people, the biggest challenge people have found, find is getting up in the morning. And, um, are you good to wake up when you decide to? Yeah. So there's a, a lovely this girl called Mel Robbins. She's um, no relation to Tony Robbins, but she is. Uh, she is talks about the brain and the 
brain and you can help people in your in your TikTok with the story because the brain goes for the easy way out every time and you have to train the brain and uh, so when you people wake up in the morning most people say oh it's getting up and I used this used to happen even thankfully I've, I've trained it now but if I'm, uh, so what happens when the brain will look for the easy way out the alarm is set for most people the majority of people want snooze would you be one of those no you don't snooze no okay. most people don't do that but I promise you if you're helping people to better their lives get right. in better shape this is something you need to educate them on so the brain will look for the easy way out so the, how to overcome that Count backwards where you think five, four, three, two, one, up, or five, four, three, two, one, jump up, five, four, three, two, one, get up, whichever feels right. You could do a TikTok in that right. because some people go for the snooze and then they're gone. Easy way out, we need to train the brain because it's always up for the easy way out. So come back here, we're doing this. That's right, and the brain works. And you need to educate people on this because right. that's uh, people might want to do, but they might not be too, but it's an important tool. You don't have to leave, you don't use it because so you have that discipline. Right. But the, Lot of lots and lots and lots of people have that problem with starting the day earlier. Right. I believe it's you know, to be successful, you need to get up early, you can get ahead before you know before the light kicks in. You know, to get your time first, to you up first, so you're not you know. Do you meditate? No, I wish I did. Okay, good man. Because meditation is so important because the brain we're half body, half mind. And most people are in their heads all the time and they're not in their bodies. So they're not breathing into their bodies. So I, I talk about uh, the brain, the body with breath work. And that's all meditation is. Right? So it's a breathing technique. And people have asked me what's the best uh, way to meditate. And my favorite. I've been trying so many through the years. Wim Hof. Have you heard of Wim Hof? No. W I M H O I. So he, he's a Dutch guy and he talks about the benefits. He's the gods are called the Ice Man. He goes into ice, uh, stand my endeavors in a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. Because of the breathing, he gets oxygen into the body and gets breathing in here. And he has cold showers and say, cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. He's, right. he's a legend. But he's, I do 20 minutes of him each morning. And it just gets power into my body and then I can take reset breaths throughout the day because I'm bringing from the brain and I'm not just living up here in my head. And, reading from, would you be open to doing that yeah okay so we write this down so why is it i love making time each morning and you can do a few minutes at night time to get this good sleep so it does both why is it i love meditating each morning well five days a week you don't have to do it on your day off why is it i love meditating five days plus a week if you want to do more to wim hof and i call it the three b's from brain to body with breath work and that's what you're doing, you're getting out of your busy head. So why is there a lot of doing them off five days a week with the three B's? Maybe the three B's down with the brain, the body, with breath work. That's what meditation is. It's getting out of the busy mind into the calm, strong, centered body. And then that will bring you calmness, and in that calmness, you okay, the creativity will flow. You're doing videos, you can just do it. Three reset breaths throughout continuously throughout my day. Take three reset breaths continuously throughout my day. Those three reset breaths just center you and bring you into that calm, relaxing place. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, but what have you picked up in the last little bit that we're chatting about? Um, I guess I need to be more disciplined in my, my life. Yeah. Either waking up early, meditating, making more videos. Great, brilliant. So we write that down. Why is it a love? Uh, even more discipline that will give me even more joy and fulfillment in my life whereas it will be even more discipline that will give me so the benefits when you do something you know why you're doing it it's easier to think why like so why is it will be even more discipline that will bring me more joy and fulfillment in my life well done are you happy yeah so do you have fears um, I would have, I guess, um, a fear of, um, I guess, not being successful. I want, to, I want to be successful. Okay, so I'm going to help you to deal with that fear. So, okay, now we all have fears, but um, I'm probably a lifetime trying to understand how to manage fears. But what, what I've discovered, me personally and the people I've worked with, that we normally run from fears. You know, if you fear, oh, I'm not going to be successful, you kind of don't bother with, you know, you get distracted. Right. Would, that, would that be you if you're not going to be successful yeah. you have to face it right. so I've come, I've come up with the three F's so when you have a fear you have to face it you have to feed it you have to fade it uh, explain it we'll write down a minute so 
But then you have to discover where you hold fear. We hold fear in different parts of our body. I happen to hold mine in my stomach when I'm giving motivation and talks. I always feel the fear. Oh my God, all these people I don't know. And then I face it, I feel it, and I face. But I count from 10 backwards, 10, 9, 8. As I lean into it, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I do it three times, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And then I start breathing in and out. And the freeze then, I start to breathe. Because the fear is, you, you freeze with fear. Normally then I feel the strength you now, then I'm a force of good energy to help. Now, some people hold it in their chest, Shannon, some people hold it in their neck, someone yesterday that I hold it in their head, someone else hold it in their shoulders, their neck. So where would you hold that fear in your body? Um, in my head, in my, um, maybe my... My stomach too. Stomach, yeah. Okay, so so you can go to your head and stomach when you feel that fear. Now the fear is that you're not successful. That is, it's a fear of failure. Okay, that's a massive fear. There's a lot of people who feel that fear and the fear that you're not good enough. Do you ever feel you're not good enough? Or is it failure more the main one? It's more failure. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is why is it a love? Next page. Why is it a love? Letting go the few, letting go my own fear of failure and knowing that I am. A massive success. Why is it a love? I can go my own fear of failure and knowing I am a massive success. I go my old fear of failure and knowing I am a massive success. Facing, feeling, and fading my fears, they're the three F's. Facing, feeling, and fading my sheer fears. Facing, feeling, and fading my fears. I don't. Facing, feeling, and fading my fears. In my stomach and my head, so you acknowledge where they are. Counting from 10 backwards, but you're leaning into the fear, and then it fades. <laughs> again, um, more discipline um, in letting go of, of um, you know, being afraid, or my fears, letting go of my fears. Yeah, yeah. Super, 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 okay. Uh, any questions? No. Do you think we've covered a lot? We have covered a lot. What were the big things that came up? Um, that I need to, um, I guess, re-motivate myself and um, creating more. Creating more. Um, and um, gaining more information and letting go of the things that I guess I can't control. Can't control. So a question, out of 10, how much do you enjoy your life? Um, I want to say right now, a five, okay, but so it's, it's gaining. It's gaining. So let's write that next page. We're nearly there. You're doing amazing. Why is it I love allowing myself to enjoy my life 10 out of 10? 24-7. Why is it a love allowing myself to enjoy my life? 10 out of 10. Why is it a love allowing myself to enjoy my life? 10 out of 10. How's that feel? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like yeah, that? Would I you love like that. That? <laughs> uh, that? That'd feel great. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna allow that, okay? So that's 50% more. That's class. Yeah. That's that's just gonna be. So let go, you know. Let go any tightness. Breathe. But I promise you, the tools and techniques in this will change your life. Yeah, absolutely. But you have to follow through, man. You know, I'm an accountability coach. People come to me. You know, I ask them. You know, I can, you know, first of all, I feel privileged. They're open to it. Second of all, if you don't 
these tools, techniques that you have there and your goals, dreams, desires are amazing, but if you do not follow through, you'll be even more frustrated because you know you know what to do and then we don't do it. So that's why I became a confident coach, the lady coached me years, it was every 10 days and it was like so much could happen in 10 days and I, I wouldn't follow through the next day and got the journal for 10 days signed. But you have to be accountable to follow these through tomorrow morning, the next morning, the next morning, five days a week. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And ideally, like, um, have somebody that will coach you to do that. Like, I know this is uh, for your channel, right. and if it's something you want me to continue, or but like, this is something that you need to be disciplined. I think maybe George can hold you accountable, or, you know, that you check in and follow through because right. without um, consistency, persistency, and follow through, you're deluding yourself. Absolutely. Does that make sense? Yeah. I appreciate it. But I appreciate you're it. <laughs> super, super. Any questions, any thoughts? Um, none that I have right now. None that you have. I, I really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I appreciate it yeah. too. Thank you. So what are the big benefits of sitting down on this bench here and talking to this fellow? I know that, not, not sure about me, but this no, stuff no. works. No, it, it does. Um, it's It's been a while since I've, you know, um, had somebody that has sort of motivated me. You know, I haven't had that in a long time, and you've kind of re-motivated me and taught me, you know, show me, hey, this is important. You need to stick with us to really, you know, feel like you enjoy your life and enjoy yourself. So it's great. Yeah. Okay, okay, another question. Nearly there. Last question. Yeah. Out of ten, how much fun do you have in your day? Um. I'm gonna say six. Six. Yeah. Would you like it to be a ten? I'd love it to be a ten. Let's write it down. <laughs> so to write down what you focus on gets done. So why is it I love allowing myself to have ten out of ten fun in my day? Why is it I love allowing myself to have ten out of ten fun in my day? Why is it I love allowing myself to have ten out of ten fun in my day? Does that make yes, sense? It does. Are you happy? I am. <laughs> I, I know that it, yeah, I mean, no, no. Uh, I am. I I know uh, th that um, you know moving here to Florida has, has been. Um, I've noticed that it's been the right decision, and I'm going in the right direction. So, really, really, really. so, so what? So when you what are limiting beliefs? I want you to ask yourself. Okay, is this empowering or disempowering? With the disempowering or empowering thoughts. So if you want any disempowering thoughts, imagine I'm, you're on this bench. And this, Irish guy is talking to you, right. what would he say, what questions, what can I change, how can I flip it from being a negative thought to a positive thought, does that make sense? Okay. And yeah. then you add it into the journal to get rid of it, so I'm always writing, I write right. my list down every night, yeah. and if, if I have a negative thing or something I want, I write it down, get yeah. it from the brain, the pe to, 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 from the brain to pen and paper, right. you know, so important, there's right. loads of people go around with 60,000 average thoughts a day, and most of them are negative, and they go around, but to catch those thoughts, become aware of them and change them. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Are you happy? I am. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You're most, most likely. Thank Thank you. Oh, enjoy. Yeah. You're a I'm great guy, it. you know that. I, yeah. Yeah. I look Thank forward you. to hearing about yeah. Hey, I'm the top trainer in the world. Right. <laughs> you know, I have so many million people, you won't believe it. You have to come out here to my lovely house. Right. It's a palace. Yeah. It's not that small house, it's the big one over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my body, hey right. Sylvester. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have him over for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got to meet him actually. Wow. I, I, mean, he, uh, I work at the Breakers Hotel down to, or on the island. Um, and he's a member there. So wow, wow, that wow. was so much fun yes. to talk to him. Wow. What did he say? Did he ask many questions? Yeah, you know, we like he we're technically not supposed to talk to him as a employee, but he was in the gym and um, you know, we were just I was just saying I was a fan and stuff so yeah but he's a great guy how long is he working out um hour and 30 minutes probably wow. and he's almost 80 years old so very motivating oh my god 80 years of old of yeah age. 78 years old an so. hour and a half well, what was he doing for that hour and a half he was hitting back yeah so uh, back. yeah hitting back and biceps big wow. dude even at 80 years old, it's crazy. Oh, how big it is. Well, that's an inspiration. Yeah, isn't it? absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to be he's your role model. Yeah. The more you think about him, the My more you study him. Look at the smile <laughs> on your face. I know. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah.